I'm now going to show you how to assemble your fog buffer and, and how to fill it with uh, fog fluid. Uh, this is the currently the, the kit that you will be getting. Uh, the main piece is the turkey baster with a stopper with a correct size hole drilled in it and uh, the turkey baster also has a uh, check valve attached so that when you squeeze to make a puff of smoke air can't go out here but when you let up the makeup air when the bulb is expanding mostly goes in through this check valve instead of through the the e-cigarette which would uh, cause some damage to the battery over over time we think uh, so the the turkey baster uh, there are two cartridges that have uh, the the heater that makes the that evaporates the fog fluid is in the base of the cartridge and then that gets filled with the fog fluid there's a uh, battery charger two batteries that come in their their original box so that they are less likely to get damaged and cause problems during shipping and then there's a couple of little extension uh, straws uh, to make a finer and longer uh, stream of smoke and some uh, uh, propylene glycol i think it's four ounces of propylene glycol uh, solution or liquid uh, and uh, a small squeeze bottle that you you pour the propylene glycol from here into there and then this has a tiny tip that goes in to the cartridge for filling So I'll start by taking one of the batteries out, and it's inside of a little plastic bag. And then in order to charge the battery, the, the charger just screws on, and you shouldn't, shouldn't put it on really, really tight. Uh, when you plug this in, if the battery isn't fully charged, this little LED light on the charger will, will glow red, and when the battery is fully charged, this will turn green. You take it off, and then this is one of the cartridges uh, it, it might have this little silicone rubber tip on it that you can throw away that, that isn't needed. And then you thread the battery onto the cartridge. So to fill, uh, we're first going to take this, this is called the mouthpiece. That's where you would normally uh, inhale if you were using this as an e-cigarette. Uh, so once you unthread it, like three quarters or a, a turn, uh, you pull it off in order to get at the, the place where you fill the fluid and then you squeeze the fog fluid in and fill it until there's just a little bit of airspace. Uh, and then you put the mouthpiece, push it all the way on and then screw it until it's tight. And now this is filled and ready to go and it should smoke. Uh, now that we're up closer, I'll show you uh, the details of, of where the stopper should go. Remember that this is the joint between the battery and the cartridge. I'll show you that again. And when we put the stopper on, we want to push the stopper past that. We want to actually, the stopper, when it gets friction fit into the, into the uh, turkey baster, gets squeezed and seals that joint between the battery and the cartridge and we push it a little bit further just so that we can see the very bottom of the of where the fluid will be so that when the fluid gets to be nearly empty we can see exactly uh, how much fluid we have left it, as it is the, the fog puffer gives kind of a wide uh, puff of smoke but in in a lot of cases especially when you're looking for smaller leaks a narrower stream is nice and, and we provide this thing that we call our uh, straight connector. Friction fits just perfectly into the, the uh, mouthpiece of the e-cigarette and it, it makes a, a narrower and more laminar stream of fog. And then there are also a couple of things we call extenders. They're, they're just little straws uh, connected to some pieces of silicone rubber tubing that, that fit onto the connector that give you a little extension so that you can reach the leak that you're looking for a little better, especially in addicts or, or if you're looking at uh, leakage of recessed uh, lights. Uh, and you can put two of these together and get uh, just probably almost a, a one foot extension for reaching uh, like an eight foot ceiling or maybe even a nine foot ceiling if you're taller than me. 
I want to give a couple of tips on using the fog puffer for finding leaks, especially small ones. Uh, one key is having enough light. Uh, this is a light that uh, Anthony Cox, a flashlight that Anthony Cox uh, recommended. Uh, it's a Coast brand G20 uh, inspection light. The nice thing about it is that it generates a, a nice small beam of light that uh, if you aim it right, just hits the smoke and doesn't illuminate too much around it. Uh, a good headlight also works uh, really well for then, then you can direct the light right at the smoke that you want to see. Uh, another idea is that it's good to, to blow the smoke perpendicular to the direction that the, you expect the smoke to go when it goes in the leak. If, if you try puffing it towards the leak, it could easily look like there's a leak, you know, there's smoke going in the crack, but it's going in the crack because you're shooting it in the crack. Uh, I'm pressurizing the house to about 20 pascals of positive pressure. Uh, also, there's a storm door on this door, and I've got the storm door propped open a little bit so that all of the pressure difference, all 20 pascals, will be at the leak that we're, that we're inspecting for. And so we just uh, squirt smoke and follow the crack uh, to inspect the weather stripping of the door. And all looks good. Except when you start getting towards the bottom, now you can see there's smoke definitely going in the crack. So there, there's a little leakage. When I can, I like to use a pressure of some, somewhere around 20 pascals, 20 or 25 pascals. Uh, generally works very well.